Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cordant and we are back for some more Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire. So I have a little bit more time today, thankfully, <laughs> so I can play some more. Uh, we're just continuing from where we left off, <laughs> left off in the previous episode. Uh, I looked over my companions here and I'm gonna do their level ups right now. We're gonna start by going for Eder. We have some athletics here and some survival. I'm, I'm gonna be using 15 as my top value and then I'm just gonna ignore it, I think. I haven't encountered anything above 15, so hopefully it's enough. Uh, for it there, in terms of the rogue side of things, I don't really think I have anything else that I really want from here. Uh, I was looking over some of this stuff and it's not really particularly interesting. At most, maybe dirty fighting wouldn't be bad. Um, and then on the fighter side, I was also looking over things and I was looking over the um, overbearing guard here. Which gives me plus 15 uh, accuracy with disengagement attacks and plus 50% damage with disengagement attacks, which can be quite lovely. Um, however, now that I think of it, <laughs> sorry, uh, I think I'm actually going to go for dirty fighting. Yeah, 10% of my hits get converted to crits. This might be, might be useful. Okay, sure, let's go for that. I was kind of on the, on the fence there for the other talent as well, so I can just take this one. And again, the option to freely retrain just makes things a whole lot simpler. Some more explosives for this guy and diplomacy. And for him... Uh, so on the chanter side of things, there's a lot of stuff that maybe I would like to, to swap around. But that would really just involve a retrain. I'm not really using this anymore, so I'm not sure if I want it. And it's two points spent. Uh, I'm not using this, I'm not using that, so that's four, point, four points incorrectly spent uh, so yeah <laughs> i'm gonna go for the druid side i was actually considering this spell here the garden of life mostly out of curiosity because i don't understand how it works it i can't see like how long this lasts uh, so it's i don't really understand it i would like to try it out but i'm actually gonna start with this one the practiced healer for more 15 percent healing done i think this can be handy so we're gonna go for that one. That's his level up done. These are quite simple because it's only a single point. Alchemy and Diplomacy. We're level 18 already. I thought we were level 17 actually. And for her, I'm gonna go for this spell here. I liked when I used it when I used it from a scroll. And a lot of times I'm not even uh, using spells of level 7. So if I want an extra AoE nuke. I have access to it via the Storm of Holy Fire. It's my choice here. The other good choice here might actually be the Sign of Flame. Because we do have a lot of fire-based attacks. Would this be better, actually? No, I'm gonna go for this still. Then I might take the other one. Uh, Mr. Aloth. Alchemy and Insight. And for this guy, I don't think I need any more spells here. Naturally, there's some that could be good. Like, for example, the Wall of Flame. I kind of want this. Um, but at the same time, I think I'm going to go for the Improved Critical here. Just getting an extra 10% crit damage, I think, can come in handy. So let's go. And finally, for my Rogue... We're gonna go for stealth, we're gonna go for streetwise. And on the rogue side of things, I don't need anything else right now that I can see at least. What was this? Oh, backstab, right. From stealth or invis. Um, I considered sap briefly while I was looking over this tree, but the thing I don't really like about sap is that it confuses. So. Confusion can be good, but it's also kind of random, and then if you want to hit him, uh, it, it, it gets weird, and I, yeah, no, I, I just don't like this, <laughs> so I'm not going to take it. I am instead going to go for the ranger side of things, and I am going to take survival of the fittest. So 10 more accuracy against targets which are bloodied or worse, just to help finish them off, help getting more critical strikes, all good stuff. That's it. Level up's done. 
So, we were on this place which is called Pahoane, where we found some Juana trapped. <laughs> There's actually a hostage over there. And this appears to be their leader, this Eoten guy here. So, I'm gonna use this choke point and I expect this to be a, a basic fight, honestly. Just lure them in with it there and then just kill them all. This one, a trespasser. Okay. Come friends, oh. see what work we make of trespassers. Very low voice. I don't think I'm even gonna bother with this gunpowder barrel. I'm just gonna kill them normally. So, Shori, I want you to start with a minor avatar here, maybe. You can go for a chill fog in this region. You can do your usual buffing routine. Which might be excessive, I know, but <laughs> it works. And I will just kill whoever gets in my way. Okay, come here. Okay, now you can buff up. And you can fight. Mr. P can go fight as well. Once you are done with that, give us extra might, please. Like this. And I can just start blasting people. So, blam. And then maybe a blam over there. Seems good. Okay. Oh, did... Wait, how long does this... This is a very quick cast time, Jesus. Okay, so, what else do I want uh, with Shodi? I think I'm going to go for a Devotions for the Faithful. Mostly for my benefit, not to debuff. Then I think I'm going to go for the Symbol of Aethas, which is going to actually hit quite a lot of people. And then I'm going to try out my, my Storm of Holy Fire, I believe. <laughs> Just have some fun. Okay, so Tekehu. Let's get over there, because I want to use your Relentless Storm. There we go. And Aloth, have you finished buffing? You have. So, you could just drop a Slick and just, this is just going to be massive AoE damage killing everything here. Okay, there goes Shori. There goes the Slick and We're going to drop... A freezing pillar over there. Okay. Let's go for the Storm of Holy Fire. Just kill everything. Lovely. You are finished. Let's go for this. Just overkill in terms of AoE effect. Oh, there's a guy right here. Oh no! You bitch! Um... Uh, blind him and actually heal him oh god this guy was very sneaky this guy was very sneaky oh I'm still alive I am still alive Shori engage him uh, I'm gonna back off I'm very slow but I'm fine I wanna see if I can kill this guy to get the, the healing from the conqueror thing and you guys are all dead. Come on, shoot him! Sweet this is oh, come on, he died. I'm kind of afraid of stepping on these things, which might just kill me. I'm gonna swap weapons. And I'm gonna go for a devastating blow on the tiger, see if I can kill him like that. Okay, thank god. Okay, we can swap back and just kill this guy. Yeah, and this is just over. Yeah, I'm taking a lot of damage from this stupid thing here. I should not have um, underestimated it. We're gonna heal. We're gonna use Shori to also heal. And you can knock this guy up, maybe? Yeah, we can. This thing isn't doing the job. Dead. We're gonna kill that final guy. Okay, let's get the hell away from here. Oh, we're also standing on the Slicken. Sure. Smart me, smart me. Yes, very smart. Let's <laughs> kill the Grub Master. You can go there now. And done. Don't leave me here. 
Don't leave me here. I won't, my friend. I won't. Don't worry. So, any kind of unique stuff here? No, but that is the key. Okay, so we have the key at least. Sneaky Zorips, man, just jumping into my back line. I think Aloth is bugged because he's still invisible. <laughs> oh, this one looks cool. Acolyte's Frostbite, a hatchet. Superb. Plus 15% damage is freeze and grants solitude. Gain one concentration if zero every six seconds when four meters or farther away from nearest ally. It's not particularly interesting. Solitary Fate. Cast Chill Fog around the caster when they are defeated, so long as there are no nearby allies. What? Vengeful Cold. Grants a chance to launch a small blast of cold ar around the caster upon receiving critical hit, dealing freeze damage to nearby enemies, so long as there are no nearby allies. Yeah, this no nearby allies just kills the weapon. Freezing by, 10% chance to paralyze the target in ice for 3 seconds on crit. That's cool. And the freezing gust, 25% chance to launch a freeze damage cone attack on crit. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> not, not particularly good, I would say. These cuts of flesh and charred limbs have started to ripen in the tropical heat. Lovely. A large decaying heart stuffed with straw has been mounted on the wall as a, gris a grisly trophy. That's a heart and these are limbs, lovely. At a glance, you take this man to be one of the Juana. His face crumples as you approach and he sags in his bindings, murmuring repeated oaths of gratitude. Please help me. I do not know how it is you came by this place, but please, you must save us. Those animals... Oh him. God. My friend. I could only watch. He hangs his head, shuddering. Riku, who takes his life and spares mine. Please, let me free. I cannot stay here any longer. Okay, I will, but I want to know this. What are we? What? Oh. oh, it is an old shrine to Nagati. The priests, they went to Nekataka. And now there are no guards on these roads. And how did you end up here? We are just merchants. Traders, the lizards surrounded our wagon and dragged us here. Oh, Tamau is gone, but Badima, surely she is still here. Okay, I'm gonna stay stay put for the time being because there are still some enemies in this floor. What? Wait! No, I'll come back, dude. Don't worry. I will come back. I just want to clear the room for you. Because I don't want to free him and then these guys kill him when he tries to leave. Looks like Come on, bitches. Yes, I know you're there. Um, so. Let's buff. Buff, 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 and buff. <laughs> Chill fog over there. You come over here, you wait. Okay, buff up. We're gonna fight. We're gonna get might. I'm gonna start blasting. Mm hmm. Oh, Piggy, go fight. And Takehum. This guy doing that thing again. Let's just move in. We're gonna go for stuns here. Can I inter... No, I cannot interrupt him. That's sad. But it is what it is. I'm just gonna go for this now. Just try and make this go quicker. Okay. Aloth, let's try and slicken them up. Uh, we weren't able to interrupt that guy, but that's fine. I can just out-heal it, I think, with the Moonwell. And... I'm actually gonna go for Chain Lightnings here, because these guys can be very... In oh, no, they're immune to Lightning, right? Yeah, they are immune to Lightning. That's annoying. Just go for this. 
Yeah, just go for that. Let's get a couple of those in. Okay, there goes the Storm of Holy Fire. Just beating them up. It is actually quite effective. Deals a bunch of damage. This guy is invulnerable right now. Annoying. No longer though. There you go. I have 15 kills on my red hand, so not quite leveled up yet. To the maximum. Okay. So just a, a barrel here. Okay, and now we can free the guy. So this, this just makes sure there's no unhappy accident when the guy is trying to leave. Quick save. Please cut me loose. Untie him. Ikira, you have my thanks once again. The man rubs his chafed wrists. They took someone else. Badima. I know. She must still be in the cages to the southeast. These creatures must have a key somewhere. Please help her. I think I will be sick. Ah, may Nagati guide you to calm waters. He staggers for the entrance. Okay, so this one guy freed. Let's go free the other lady. And the third one got eaten, apparently. <laughs> Poor guy. Oh, what is this? I'll see it. Oh, there was something there. I couldn't see it because of the, the tree trunk. Or the root. Akira, you have done it. Why is she not voiced? I heard fighting. Are you hurt? And what of the others? One of them made it. He's waiting for you outside. Ngati preserve you. I owe you much. I have lost enough today. She wipes her forearm across her brow. I have no goods to give you in thanks, for they were stolen from us. But you are welcome to what you find. I will be rid of this place and quickly. Okay. So there's nothing up there. I cannot find anything in their cart. I don't think. Maybe they stored some of the goods downstairs? Let's find out. Ooh, this looks... interesting. There is an empty socket in this panel as if something were removed. Oh, I can't actually go there yet. Do I, do I need a, a conch? No, because this is on the inside. Pahowane Underground. Hmm. Okay, I... I'm thinking about the Cornet of Waves, but I... I, um, I don't think I can even pick it up again. Right? I don't think so. Okay, you will have to pardon me for this detour we're about to take. Because I think with the coordinate of waves, if you guys still remember those items, I think you can use them and then I think you can also just take them out again. So I am going to go back to the gullet or to the old city. I'm going to see if I can take out the, the, the shells. And bring them back over there. I cannot see with my character over there. The gullet, the hole, Delver's Row, Undercroft, Beha's home, Patili. This was in the Undercroft, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we can just go in through here. In any case, I also wanted to rest. So it's not that bad that we came to Nekataka. Because I want to sleep at the Wild Mare, then I want to have a bath at the Luminous Bathhouses. And then we can go.
Okay, all city ruins. Okay, and from here... Oh, she's still there? Dario said there was a whole temple back here. Yeah, I know. Woman, you've been there for like two months now. Just, just You can just go. Oh. Did I miss this? I completely missed that. Uh, I think I want to go to the old city. Ah, uh, come on. And it's near the place where the giant grub um, was found. Okay. Hopefully this is not just a gigantic waste of time. Ugh, it is, because the... Um, I'm still gonna check it since I'm here, but I think the shells were in the door that we opened. So I don't think we can get them back. Yeah, okay. We cannot get them back. So that that's for something different than that area that we just went to. Ooh, it started raining outside. I love it. Uh, there is probably a quest somewhere to make me go there. Something that I don't have currently. So we're going to have to take the long way around because we're going to have to go back up to the gullet and all that stuff. Although there is something that I'm considering. Because there was a vendor in the gullet that was a Vitrak. And he had a bunch of stuff in his, in his quarters that I couldn't steal at the time. I might look into that now since we're here. So I have to go, come on, just have to go all the way around. We have to go to the elevator, to Delva's row. And that's where we can find the Vitrak merchant. And see what he has for me. And I'm also looking at the buff over here from the Light of the Dawn Star. Which reminds me that I should probably just... Yeah, just enchant this for it. It's only fine. Yeah, go for exceptional. Thank you. How much would it cost to go to Superb? Gives me plus 6 shield deflection. Costs me 15,000 and this. Yeah, enchant it. It's fine. Okay. That was roll. I hope that at some point we also have we also get a quest to maybe kill Dario or just kill people in here. Okay, so this this was the place, the spindle man. What did you have? You had the Grimoire. Minus two percent action speed and damage to attack around fifteen seconds when we're hit in melee. Yeah. Mortification bindings is for the monk. Then <laughs> the dragon skilled grimoire. Everything fire. Some potions. I'm gonna take that. Rotward amulet doesn't matter. The obsidian. I haven't used summons thus far. And I'm, I'm actually kind of enjoying not using summons. It makes things a little bit more interesting. The white witch mask. Uh, grants. Yeah, one per rest. Illusion power levels. Okay, no, that's that's fine. I only want this. Yeah, he does have that over there. Yes, of course. But it's it's. I've been using the wrong boots all this time. Lovely. Um, <laughs> let's see if with the boots of stealth. See if we can actually reach that area without being spotted. But I don't believe so. Yeah, no, we we no no no. I could try the spark crackers. What is yeah, okay, I'll try the spark crackers. Screw it. Uh, so. Uh, toss it over there. Okay, they're going. I'll deal with this. No, 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 no. 
It's finished. Okay, we got the mask. Oh, uh, come on. Shoo! Go for another one. Shoo! Shoo! Get away from here! Oh, he's too close! Okay, whatever. I think... Well, as you wish. I think by opening that one and we just picked up that mask, it should be fair to say that it's not holding anything particularly special. Um, okay. So we're gonna go... And just put some, some more spark crackers here. Uh, here. Not there. There. Okay. So, I want to... I want to go to the... Um, the Wild Mare. To get the resting bonus. And then I'm gonna go to Periki's Overlook for the Luminous Bathhouse. I might also check out some food. Because there are very nice food buffs. And I kind of have them. I kind of have the money to purchase them now. I'm gonna put my boots back on. Okay, let's go. So I want to go to the wild mare. And hopefully this time I can keep my bonuses because there, there have been times when I'm now, going around on the ship. What can I do for you? You see anything you like? And... Um, and I've lost my bonuses. And I'm also going to check something here, finally. I'm going to quick save. No. Sorry, Shody. What can I do for you? But I'm looking for more intimate entertainment. You're in luck. Friend. The oh, she wild liked mare it. employs a number of courtesans skilled in satisfying a wide range of tastes and interests. He throws you an exaggerated wink and points toward the stairs behind him. You'll find them upstairs. Okay. They handle their own coin too, so no need to go through me. Okay. Be seeing you. He gives you a light wave, a little wave, and returns to his work. Because in games such as this, uh, a lot of times sleeping with. Uh, one of these entertainers can actually give you passive buffs. And I want to see if it's the same thing here. So can I sleep with you? Have you come to hear some verse? Oh! Did I not complete the... I completed the quest. I saved your friend Oswald. Not from something too dangerous, I hope. Please, accept my thanks. He's a kind old man. I would have mourned to see something terrible happen to him. She clasps your hands and hers and gives them a little squeeze. I have little to give you in thanks. Perhaps you'd be amenable to some establishment gossip. Hmm? Sure. She raises a well-sculpted brow and gives you a cheery little wink. Constantin, the masseuse, longs to wander the world again. Oh, okay. We have every him already. Every time he threatens to leave, Gintel begs him to stay. And every time he promises to remain for just a month more. I wonder what he hopes to find out there. Okay, so how much for your time? 100 copper pans. A reasonable fee to experience the sublime words of a dear's greatest poets. Don't you think? Come, lay your head on my breast. I will read you the work of my favorite poet, Skilba. Sure, I'm interested. Do you know Skilba? She wrote in the time before a dear's marriage to Kulkin, when the kingdom was fire bright and yearning for a purpose. Now, listen. An exquisite poet. Oh, this shall be a rare treat. Shodi is enjoying this, which might mean something. Ship at dawn, its face pressed to the sea's slick lips. My sister and you, a sailor died in lantern light. The wind, my brother's fingers pulling at your hair, his breath hot and boastful, promising. I, a horizon whose borders your thumb has not traced in years. 
You, slack-jawed and groaning, your chin in the hard grip of longing, led stumbling through the waves. That was very weird, I'll be honest. <laughs> okay. A pleasant diversion, yes? Visit me any time, my friend. So we didn't actually get any new... Oh, I did! Oh! Plus one to explosive, plus, some... plus two to perception. Okay, it's actually cool. Okay, well, it does work. I was kind of hoping that everybody in my party would get the buff, but... Kind of makes sense, it's only me as well. Okay, so let's go to Pariki's Overlook. Get into the Luminous Path House. For the other buff. I think there are also some food merchants there that we can check out. See what they have. Did you arrive on the Defiant Junior? Yes, I did. <laughs> uh, Pariki's Overlook. The Luminous Path House. Let's go. And I might also drop by the, the Dark Cupboard. Just to sell some of our items. Because we should have some more stuff to sell. Okay, so for right now, just give me the, the Buffy buff. Please, enjoy. Very well. Oh good, it's time for my weekly cleansing. Weekly? Oh god. I hope it's a little bit more frequent than that woman. Otherwise, Tiny Mustache Man might not be very interested in you. Okay, we have all of the buffs, good. Okay, so food. Food. You return. <laughs> Let's see what you have. Hot razor skewers. Plus two penetration with weapons, plus two might, plus one to all power levels. Okay, that's kind of exactly what I wanted. Oh, baby. Yeah. Three might, 30% healing received. That's really good. Fright ugly, area of effect. Yeah, so these three are quite nice. I'm wondering if this is better for it there or just this one. Probably this one. Okay, I think I'm going to spend some money here. So, let me think, sorry. So, this would be eaten by Eder and myself and then the swordfish by these three, I think. So let's take enough for maybe four times. So, Jesus. Eight of these. It's already quite expensive. And we're gonna take... So, sorry, these are three, six, twelve, okay. 17,000 just in food. Eh. Let's go. It's fine. We're rich. <laughs> Okay, let's go over here and sell some stuff. It, it It's kind of weird to try and use the food buffs because like in PoE 1 you can just eat it whenever you want. But here you actually need to rest to get the buff. Hey, and if I rest, I'm gonna lose my Luminous Bathhouse and uh, the Masseuse or the Poet's buff as well. Which is kind of unfortunate. Okay, so as usual I'm gonna pause the video, I'm gonna sell all this stuff and I'll just show you the the aftermath. I'll be right back. Okay, and we are back. So I'm actually keeping a bunch of these superb weapons, especially the one-handed weapons, in case I want to dual wield on one of my, you know, my companions on the ship or something like that. <clears throat> this would actually mean a whole bunch more money because they are worth a lot. But just by selling my uninteresting stuff, I'm already getting 161,000 more. So I think we're fine. <laughs> Let's take that. And I think we're going to continue. Just checking for ingredients here. See if there's something I want. I do want these. And those. Maybe some Awakened Adra. I'm just buying most things, honestly. Because why not at this point? 
Okay. And we're out of here. And uh, I want to see who had the quest for the this bounty here. Oh, it's the girl in Dunnage. Okay, so we're gonna go to Dunnage. And after Dunnage, we are going to go for the um, Takehu quests. Well, they're not Takehu quests, but they're from the Juana and they recommend the companion uh, Takehu. But yeah, there's a lot of back and forth just trying to go and complete quests from one side to the other, but it is what it is. We have to deal with it. So, Dunnage. We can now speed it up again. Who are you? Master Captain. Okay. A merchant? Well, we're just going basically. Captain Thanik. I'm guessing it's a, it's a bounty for later, maybe. Okay, there we are. And I think this is the last one, so probably we won't be coming back here for any more bounties. Which is a good thing, I believe. What's the good word, Scuttler? I dealt with Rock Stomper Rodol. Knowing the dead fire waters are short, nice. a pirate hunter is worth ten times its weight in priors. Would it have the sack of coins almost too heavy for her to bear? She sighs at being rid of it and returns her attention to her pipe. Hate to say it, Scuttler, but I'm tapped out. My client's okay. gone awfully quiet, so we're both better off sailing for the next horizon. She clamps her teeth down on her pipe and sticks out her hand. Let's shake her hand. Pleasure working with you, Udita. Okay, so all bounties are completed in Dunwich. Good. So we can now carry on and leave by sea. And let me see if I can find where we need to go. And by the way, so yeah, this this is Magran's teeth over here. I'm guessing this area, and that's where we have some of our new quests. I think I actually have to go here for Motari Okozi. We also have Sayuka for another quest. Ori Okowiki is the other one, I think. So if I go over here, the Juana, last sanctuary, travel to the ruins, Motari Okozi. Okay. So we're going to start with Motari Okozi, which is over... It's quite far, actually. Okay, let's go. Hopefully we don't get a lot of ship events, because those are kind of annoying. I would love to, I would love to say that I like them, but I, I really don't. You get some sailor experience and stuff like that, but it's not really interesting just to... You know, oh yeah, I side with you, or I talk with you, and then they argue, and ugh, it's not, nah, nah. It's not very appealing. And this really should sail faster. I might need to buy something that speeds up my traveling time. I think there are like, um, anchors and stuff like that, and lanterns. They were quite expensive, I think, like 16,000 gold, but at this point, I think I can handle it. Uh, so where am I going? Unidentified location. This is a mysterious place. And the quest is here, Motare Okozi. So how do I actually go there? Ooh, Hungry Shoal, so another book event here, I think. Eh. Let's see. Little Luca finds you on the main deck. Your navigator is holding a compass the same way one might hold a moldy piece of fruit. Captain, there's something wrong. The needle's switching like a scarab's leg, but there's nothing about this place on the charts. Handsome Elliot st uh, Ilium stares out at the sea. The shadow of Wild falls upon us, peering through us to pierce the depths. Little Luca blinks blankly at the handsome Elliot. Beodal points ahead. Reefs, Captain. Some ships cross them to save time. We can try it ourselves or we can go around. Little Lucas sighs. With our instruments acting like this, I say we sail around this place, whatever it is, however long it takes. Emini groans. Hours? Days? 
Nothing's worse than waiting, Captain. Take us through it. We'll be ready for anything. Head bowed, Elt Angry mutters quietly. In hiding, the obscured imparts revelations. Mayhap the God of Secrets has marked this place for a reason. Well, I know our hull is full. Let's take us through. Ondra protect us, little Luca mutters, hanging the useless compass on a peg. As you sail above the reefs, a faint light shimmers in the depths. At first, the glow barely reaches the surface, but it gradually brightens, its source rising closer. Something that looks like a submerged mountain peak. You recognize it as a vast shelf of luminous Adra. I'm kind of counting on Beodal's skill to avoid damage. Soon you are surrounded by jagged shoals of the stuff, reaching for your ship like grasping claws. Your crew goes quiet, tense and transfixed. Peering overboard, handsome Elium whispers, the eyes of the eyeless face. Just below the surface and surrounding your ship, you glimpse a host of eyes watching you. Ooh. As they flicker, however, the eyes resolve into thousands of fish, their silver and blue flanks marked with black spot-like pupils. It's a blessing, Eld Engrim says, but the others don't seem so sure. Steady now, nice and easy. The shoals crowd and close around you as Beodal labors mightily to keep the ship between them. God damn it! But a snack catches at the hull. Beodal cries out as the wheel wrenches free from the sailor's hands. Little Luca grabs the wheel, guiding the ship towards deeper waters. Come on. We took 20 damage and Beodal was injured. Aww. At last, the shoals and other recede behind you and the eye-like fish give up their pursuit. Little Luca checks the compass, now pointing faithfully north and breathes a sigh of relief. Okay. So he gained some stuff, but... He got injured, so I have to swap him around. So he's my helmsman. I guess I can put you as a helmsman. Yeah, sure. And you are gonna go for treatment. Okay. So we're gonna go over here. The Matekau landing. Or... I'm gonna pick this up for... Oh my god. How far do you have to go for this? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Burunga! Quick save! Hunt! Come on, man. I wanna hunt the thing. <laughs> yeah, we've seen this before. Sure, I can play around. Uh, so the ear is 7 points. I think the nose is 10. Yeah, 10 points. I think I completely missed. Nose. Ear. I won! Okay. Five more morale done. Okay. So I wanna... Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. She's a level 13 druid animist. She has a Dao just like me. She has... Some people... Okay, let's do the usual thing. Try to kill off some people at the top. We are quite close, actually. Let's turn. She's... Okay, I think she wants to board me. Yeah, she wants to board me for sure. Hold! Ish. We'll try it. We kill four people. Okay. Okay, let's see if while they're scrambling there, we can shoot again. But I think, I think they're gonna go for me. 22 meters. 0% chance. Hold. Yep. Oh! They were really charging at me. You sons of bitches. They broke my ship. They're gonna pay for that. They are gonna pay for that. I think they have a bunch of spellcasters, which worries me slightly. Kill them all. Monks, chanters, sailors, priests, and eh, whatever. 
Chauncey, stay in safety, my friend. Okay. Well, if, if this works, I'm not gonna change my tactics here. I'm just gonna use the same thing as always. Um, just give us some accuracy here. Let's see if I can move. I cannot move, of course. Okay, so Piggy, grab that guy. We're gonna go mid-speed. Oh, we actually webbed them there. Nice. Protect yourself and fight. Tiny Mustache Man is just waiting because he can't actually shoot anyone. Maybe this guy. Yeah, okay. This works. Okay. He got shot twice. Lovely. That's a very nice chunk of enemies right there, I have to say. Piggy, grab this one. Uh, I'm gonna go for this. And then probably a holy fire. Okay, who has just launched this thing? I'm gonna move him closer and start the lightning startup stuff up. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for these because I have three enemies around me. Well, only two actually. Still, I think it's worth doing. Okay. Well, we're killing stuff. Wait, why is, why is Shodi not doing what I told her to do? Woman, go there and do this. Get over here. Sometimes they get confused with the pathing and then this happens. It's fine though. Uh, Aloth. Let's go for this here. Can you move? Okay, you can move. Good. No, it... Do, do what I say, man. Do what I say. Or, you know, just, just go for Chain Lightnings. I think it's better. You can go for... This. And everything's gonna die, so I'm good. Do this there and do this there. Okay, he's dead. Everything is dead. Yep. You should not have charged me, my friend. This was a mistake. You would have better chances at naval combat than this. Okay, no need to share coins because they're all happy. Take everything and continue. Well. That's one more bounty done. So now we can go back into the island. Or actually, we're going to go to this shipwreck. Because I want to see how this works. Shifting. Royal Deadfire Company colors. Interesting. Milk, and that's it. Okay. We are gonna go over here. This Matical landing. You disembark on a calm beach. A thick tree line ahead separates you from the deeper jungle. You see evidence that another landing party arrived here before. Booted tracks lead off into the jungle, though it doesn't look as if anyone returned this way. Let's peer. Between the trees you catch a glimpse of shadows that shouldn't be there. You're not alone. Let's listen. The beach is conspicuously quiet and it takes you a moment to realize what's missing. The chirp or warble of birds. Then you spot it. Subtle movement in the tree line. You're not alone. Okay. Well, show your empty hands. I know you're out there. Let's talk about this. <laughs> Several Juana warriors, decorated with the face paint of the Wahaki, calmly emerge from the tree line. And from what we heard, these guys aren't particularly evil. They are just aggressive and isolationist. So, a Juana tribe. The Wahaki have consistently pushed back against Valian and Rauatine efforts to expand into the outlying islands of the Deadfire Archipelago. Alot studies their painted... F oh... Their painted faces and looks to you with a meaningful expression. A tall warrior separates out from the fold and pauses, giving you a severe look before approaching. So 
So maybe we can progress Alot's quest. No, I haven't. The Wahaki warrior clutches his weapon and stares you down. Greetings. If I must carry you out by your ears, I will do it. <laughs> this island is under Wahaki protection. I don't think you know who I am, dude. You cannot have business on Motari Okozi. Leave before I feed your bones to the jungle. He makes a dismissive wave back toward your ship. Well, we can use diplomacy. I come for knowledge and take nothing but memories. This is no library, Outlander. Death herself has touched this jungle. Something about your words causes this temper to even out. It seems you intend on letting the island do our work for us. He lowers his spear and sighs, gesturing for the others to do the same. I thought my message to the Hoana Prince was clear. He needs reminding that to trespass on the jungle ruin is a death sentence. Embeta narrows his eyes at you. Hmm. Why do you assume the prince sent me? Explorers from Nekataka landed here. You must know by now, they did not return. Okay. It is no wonder the prince sent a second group to find the first. He cares more about riches and plunder than the lives of his servants. You were the one that sent the prince that bloody cloth, weren't you? Akira, the island is closed to outsiders. All who set foot here are doomed to perish. The prince sent explorers into the maw of this island. Their drained corpses and bloodied clothes were all they left behind. Okay. Ominous. If Aruihi intends on repeating his mistakes, I am thinking he will not stand for long against the foreigners. To the depths with him, then. Embitta spits on the sand. I think Aruhihi is the, um, <clears throat> is the prince. A prince of Nekitaka should put the wishes of his people over his ambition. Okay, so why do Wahaki protect this island? You did not come here to learn our history. And I do not share our secrets with outsider filth. Mm, you're being a little bit aggressive, dude. He sucks a bit of moisture from his upper lip, holding his unblinking attention on you. What is so dangerous about Motari Okozi? We do not venture into the deeper jungle, but we know it for what it is. A place where nature has gone mad. He lets the silence drag on until the point has its deserving emphasis. It is not for me to explain the tales of our people, but I warn you to keep your distance. Motare Okozi has claimed more lives than you would guess. Let's have it. How many? Imagine a number. It is more, I say. <laughs> this island soured in an age when tribes were vulnerable and separated from their kin. It grew teeth where none had sprouted before. Imagine the feast laid out for an opportunistic glutton. Hmm. Have you heard of the painted masks? He frowns at you quizzically. The other warriors shake their heads. Oh, worth a try. <laughs> Eloth leans close and shrugs. Well, I'm looking for an, a lost expedition and knowledge of the island Ukaizo. He shares a guarded look with the other warriors. Something private, buried under layers of exchanged looks and understanding, passes between them. You will find only bones and ruin, blighted with decay, and worse. The deeper jungle is fouled. Nature is wrong here, and your very presence makes her drool with hunger. Hmm. Her? In beta holds his silence, but his stare is full of warning. So, can I leave now? You have done nothing to earn the trust of the Wahaki. I cannot look into the eyes of my chieftain and explain to her why I let you go into the jungle. Really? You want to fight? There's no need, dude. His eyes narrow, his grip on his weapon tightening. Better for us both if I killed you now. <sighs> we will give your body to the sea with all the rights that a worthy foe deserves. An outsider can expect no greater honor. Embeta nods himself as he comes to terms with this simple inevitability. I suppose this is the end of our negotiations then. Maybe I'm lacking diplomacy or something. You don't know who this group is, my friend. You are going to die you miserably. Thank me for sparing you a death at the hands of the jungle. Embitta signals his warriors and attacks. Sure, dude. You're all going to die a horrible, horrible death. But it's, it's what you want, so I'll give it to you. I shall give it to you, my friends. 
It makes me sad because I, I don't find that these guys are evil. <laughs> they're just... They're just... Well, partly dumb and partly overprotective of this island because I'm not here to to hurt them or to hurt the island or anything like that. So there is no need for this. But like I said, whatever. They want to die, they will die. Okay. Just give us some accuracy and then just go. I don't expect this to take too long. The Wahaki Brute. Let's see how, how much of a brute he is. I'm guessing he's gonna kill over very quickly. And I just unstealthed my rogue when I wanted to unstealth Takehu. Uh, but, oh well. Yeah, you guys are not gonna last very long. This was just the driving flight. Blam, blam. He nearly died. Yeah, you should not have done this, my friends. I tried to warn you. He didn't care, so... It be what it be. I'm gonna use this. This thing isn't doing the job. Pew! Fire thingy. Yeah. <laughs> They're just blowing up. My friends, I should have done this quest a long time ago. You are not equipped to deal with my party. They learned that the hard way. Oh, a Wahaki missive. Whoever wrote this missive to the Wahaki ambush party left deep indentations in the parchment. Another outlander ship sails from Motari Okozi. That makes three in Beta. Your warning to the prince only whetted his appetite as I told you it would. Better that the trespassers die on the beach than meet her ladyship inland. Finish the job this time or I will find a warrior better suited to your responsibilities. Following the message is an accurate description of your ship. Interesting. Yeah, they only have fine gear. Oh, you poor people. I guess they were kind of under pressure from whoever was sending that message. Oh well. This means we can now progress further into the island, I believe. Yes, it does. Okay, so Motari Okos is over there. Let's just check out this burial isle. Battle site, sorry. Okay. Blightheart. Oh, what is this? A pistol? A pistol with 12 range? Nah, this is a... What? Oh, it's an Archibus, okay. 20% chance to cast Corro damage cone AoE from self and hobble target on attack. Oh, it's a soulbound weapon. Binds with Chanter, Ranger, and Wizard. That's very nice. I'm gonna give it to my character here to see how it how it works out. Okay, I'm gonna read this. Sorry, I'm I'm not reading a lot of these because the texts are very long. But a soulbound weapon, I think, is special. A small oil skin wrapped letter laying with the arquebus in the grave. The penned letters are blocky and deliberate. Well, now you've done it, fool. I don't know if you be a grave robber or just an opportunistic knacker, but you've stepped into a mess in either case. You found the gun, and I don't suppose anything I write here will convince you to put it back where you found it. So be it. Listen, and listen well. There be dark places in certain forests where souls linger after death. Hangman trees, quicksand mires, deadfalls and the like. Places where people met their end. The men pogra find these places, hungry for the soul energies. I seen them. It was my job to clear them out of the woods, them and other monsters, and I was damn good at it. Good enough to become prideful and foolish. I killed me a big one, a Menpogra matriarch, a mean bitch she was, cruel and hungry. Maybe this is what they're talking about, the ladyship. It's probably a Menpogra. Thought I'd make her into a trophy, took her twisted wooden heart out and fashioned a new tool of my trade. There's a blank area at the bottom of the letter as if someone as if some of the text is missing. Oh, is this made from her from that matriarch's body? Very interesting, my friends, I have to say. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna stop right here. It sounds like the perfect point to, to stop this episode. Just the right time, and we're just about to explore Motare Okozi. I will very just just very quickly look at this 
Uh, wait, what is it? This one. Blightheart. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll check out the Bind Soul later. I'm just gonna put it here so I don't forget. And then you can continue. Um, but yeah, we're gonna finish this episode here, my friends. As always, I want to thank you all for being here with me in the channel, watching some PoE2 Deadfire. If you guys have any questions, suggestions, anything at all, leave a comment below. If you are enjoying the content, consider subscribing for more. There is videos coming out every single day. And I hope to see you all in the next episode. Until then, stay safe, everyone.